Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new improvements that Microsoft have made available on Windows 11 build 22523. As always, these changes are available through the dev channel, and while they're not tied to a specific release of Windows 11, they are expected to arrive in the next feature update due in 2022. Also, it is important to note that this is the last release of 2021 due to the holidays. In 2022, the Insider program will resume as normal. So here is what's new on Windows 11 build 22523. In this preview, Microsoft gets one step closer to deprecating Control Panel. And that's because it is now removing the Programs and Features page and the Uninstall Updates page from the experience. So now when you open Control Panel and then click on the links that points out to uninstall a program, now opens the Uninstall Apps page on the Settings tab. Furthermore, the Uninstall Updates page has now been ported to the Windows Update section. More specifically, instead of Update History, and now you have to scroll down, and under Related Settings, you will see this new Uninstall Updates option where you can click to take you to a new page where you can find the different updates that you can remove from your computer. And then it is just easy as just to click in the uninstall button and that will remove the update. So that's how you uninstall updates on Windows 11 moving forward. As part of the uh, File Explorer improvements, now when you open the app on this PC and click the See More menu, you will now see an option to connect to a media server. This used to be available in the past, but now it's available through that menu. Finally, on Windows 11 build 22523, when using a snap assist, and you create a group, the groups that you will see when hovering over the app that belongs to your group will now also appear on task view. This feature was previously announced, but now it's available for all testers. As you can see, now we have the group listed on task view. And that's pretty much all that's new on Windows 11 build 22523. Also, this flight includes a number of fixes, so I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can learn more about them. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.